In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Teferi, of course. He just got the buff. So now his outwit ability, every third trap you play, you draw twice now. I wanted to see how impactful that was. Um, weren't many games where I even got that off. It might have only happened once or twice in this video. But it was definitely nice getting the extra draw. I still think Jace is probably just overall stronger. But I'm glad they're giving Teferi some attention. The drafting with the staff is definitely really cool for getting the... the uh, the uh, traps you need for your certain situations so those two are definitely really strong buffs i'm gonna definitely play a lot of teferi um in my videos and off it was just a lot of fun and um i mean i'm not saying it's chase is definitively better but i still am probably leaning that way as of right now so this deck list is a little bit different because of the changes so i'm just going to go over that real quick so tundra you get a mana gem on each of your turns um, the other stuff is, is really cool, but um, if you're trying to curve out to a board wipe on curve or um, you want to play your elemental mastery as quickly as possible, which is very important against Ashiok, um, just to start applying pressure as soon as possible, you have to get there as soon as you can get there. And stumbling once just costs you a lot of games when you're trying to ladder, so it's just Tundra for now. Uh, School of the Wizard, for you, for you guys that don't know, is the win condition. So... Um, each class card, you put the first card, which is the level one card, um, level one card, in the top three cards of your deck. So the first one is Wizards Familiar, two drop, one, one. Um, when you play it, it reduces the cost of random spell in your hand by one. So you might think that is a nerf because it used to do two, but in blue-white control, I consider it um, actually a bit of a buff because um, it makes Day of Judgment cost six, and you need to play six mana worth of spells uh, or more in a turn to proc Elemental Mastery, which is the last card, which gives you a Water Elemental that are now 5 drop 5 fours with Sneak. But the important thing is they're just giant Sneak creatures, and that's how you win the game anyway. And uh, after you play the Familiar, you get the Signature Spell that goes in the top three. It says draft a Signature Spell and add it to your hand. And then after that, Elemental Mastery goes into the top three. So Resilient Sphere also got reduced to a one cost. That is actually a really nifty i could see a lot of lines um where you get to play like a creature for blocks and resilient sphere it just you know makes it to where you can play more things because resilient sphere costs one less so uh if your opponent plays a legendary creature counter it it's fantastic um rune shell crab one drop three three can't attack it doesn't matter it's just a wall negate if your opponent plays a spell trap or artifact counter it it's fantastic um there's a lot of, uh, you can set up a lot of plays. So like, let's say like in the mirror match, you can just set up giant boards knowing that if they day a judgment, your negate's gonna take care of it. Um, it allows you to overextend and um, you know, it's just great protection. Snapshot Troll, after you play a trap, gets plus one O. So we're just playing a good blocker early on that can just get bigger. Lore Keeper, debut, add a random spell to your hand, which is fantastic for elemental mastery. Teferi's Staff now says uh, draft a trap and add it to your hand before you got a trap from your deck. So now um, it works in tandem with uh, Aether Figment. So uh, cost zero if you drafted this turn. So on turn two, you can now play Teferi Staff, get a trap that's suitable for your matchup, and then play Figment on two. So Teferi Staff isn't so much of a uh, tempo negative play anymore, which is really cool with control. So anytime you control, you can filter through your deck and apply pressure that's fantastic that's why elemental mastery is so strong because it allows you to make powerful plays and then you get a body and that's kind of the same thought process behind the staff and the figment also with figment after you get signature spell after you play wizards familiar that's another way of bringing this out cheaply so you know you're going to get signature spell at some point so uh, figment has just become uh way more consistent since the um Wizards class card is now in existence. Absorb, if your opponent plays a card that costs three or more, counter it and heal yourself for three. So again, this allows you to overextend. It allows you to stabilize. Uh, once your opponent is in like top deck mode and you can just arm this every turn, the game's basically just over. Teferi's Acolyte, debut, the next trap you arm this turn costs zero. So you can uh, just drop her down and then arm any of your traps and your opponent has to sit there and wonder what trap you're arming, which is uh, a nice little mind game. And um, again, it makes it to where arming your trap isn't so tempo negative. So you could arm your um, absorb, you could arm your negate, something like that. And even if they don't trigger it, you still have a 2-5 rather than just arming the trap and then nothing happening. So 
that's why these cards are so powerful. And again, that's when control cards are good is whenever you can control without losing so much tempo and, you know, getting your face punched in, right? Uh, Mage of Insight debut draws a card, just a body that draws a card. Why not? Shell game transform into an enemy, transform an enemy creature into a stone turtle. So it deals with relentless creatures very well. Um, just a fantastic removal spell. And then also it counts as four, six of your way to your elemental mastery. Second Sun's Dawn, heal yourself for seven and add a second sun to your deck. So if you've played Elemental Master, you're going to heal for seven and get a 5 4 with Sneak. And then it puts Second Sun into your deck, which is deal 10 damage to each enemy that includes their face. And then that'll trigger second, that'll trigger uh, Elemental Mastery again. So very, very powerful. Day Adjustment, destroy all creatures. And then you'll get your 5 4 with Sneak after you played Elemental Mastery. So you're not just open to creatures with haste and such. Very strong. And then we have the Archmage, which uh, puts one of these three. Arcana spells into your hand, the other two go into the deck. One gives all friendly creature sneak, one gains control of an enemy creature, and the other one summons three Skymaster Sphinxes, which are um, big uh, four power flyers that mill your opponent for one. So basically, three alternate win cons and all five sixths of the way to elemental mastery triggering. So those combined with any other spell that costs one or more will trigger your elemental mastery once again. The deck seems really strong. It's definitely more powerful now. I had a lot of fun in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and let's get into it. I just, first, first game of the day is Dritz to Ken. Mm. At least we are, we do have the Resilient Spheres, we have the Day of Judgment, we have the Crab, we have Figments to get out early, we have um, Lore Keepers, so hopefully we draw that kind of stuff, right? Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep all that. Well then, turn one, events turn two, course. arm this. It's time. What do you fight for? Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe I can draw a negate by the time they want to um, pull out the spell that makes them all plus one, plus one every time they attack. Just pass. Yes. Um, not using my mana gem yet. I might go ahead and just play this next turn if they don't throw out something too crazy. Okay, that's kind of crazy. So, yeah, of course. It's like the one thing that Crab can't stop, so let's fix that. Hopefully they think this is Absorb and they play like Herald and Attack. That would be kind of sick. Uh, to get my big old defenses here. Okay, so that's Worm's Wake, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play it now. Signature spell will probably deal with Worm. Yeah. We saw that coming, right? <clears throat> I might just chump with the birdie. Kind of like that idea, actually. Let's gear up. Maybe I won't be able to chump effectively anymore. Depends what kind of stupid stuff they get off of this, right? Dritz taking their sweet time. It wasn't worth giving it? Yeah. Yeah. Even more happy that I chumped with the 1-1, right? I don't know if that's worth it, right? Like, you were already going to get a favorable. Like, what was the point? Um... Yeah, I think I'd rather just dig. That's very useful. So next turn, I'm going to go Acolyte into this again and play uh, Lore Keeper. So as long as this turn by them isn't like absolutely insane, then I'm fine. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get out of here. Walled out. That's what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> the same guy. Let's see if I can give it to him again, right? Let's see. Crushing Dritz feels really good. Get it on. Oh, I'm going first this time. Mm. I think keeping Figment is correct. Oh my God! Punished. It's time. Punished. Look at this. Let events take their course. I don't think I can win anymore. I have the top deck really, really well. What do you fight? Like for? disgustingly well. I mean, at least I've got a two creature into a three creature, but jeez. These two would trade if that wasn't going to get a buff. Give me something that drafts. <laughs> no. Alright, so now we know we're playing Familiar, and it's probably going to discount Tinker because that would be the least helpful thing. Life is for the living. Give it to itself, so neither thing trades into Lore Keeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to do this, so that way if I top deck signature spell, I can summon both figments. Okay, cool. It did go on Day of Judgment, which is what I wanted. So maybe this isn't uh, totally lost, but it doesn't feel great. I'm still three turns away from this. Alright. OBS started going crazy on me again. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I'm actually going to block with the familiar now, so that way one of the figments could trade into it if I draw a signature spell, or am I just raw play it? Please give me signature spell at the top. I, I desperately need signature spell. 33.3% chance, one third chance. Please, please, please. I really, really, really need signature spell. <laughs> That's not signature spell. Okay. Can you keep a secret? Mm. At least I have a trade here, I guess. And then the other one's gonna block here. And then if I draw signature spell, then I can get like a trade and a trade. I guess that's how I'm gonna do it. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Come to me, my shadow. No one. Like of course, um Please concede. If signature spells last, this would be really unfortunate. Okay, that's something. That's something. Boundless potential. <sighs> I'm probably gonna trade here and trade here and leave this guy. Unless he summons something with one toughness, this could be left at one toughness and I could flame shot and not have to use my day at judgment. They're at five mana. Mm. Sweating bullets over here. It's really red. Come to my shadow. Okay, well then I'm just going to block here. Okay, so yeah, it's Day of Judgment for sure. And then hopefully they don't follow up with uh, a Legendary Haster, right? And then maybe I can second Sun's Dawn and not just lose. Okay, 
so now I can second Sun's Dawn and Crab just don't have a haster. Don't have a haster. No haster, no haster, no haster. Yes, that's not a haster. I think that's more important. I'd rather take three than them summon a legendary and just completely overpower the turtle anyway. <laughs> was that the right choice or was that the right choice? <laughs> that was horrifying. are coming in clutch, right? My goodness. I must have just rubbed my eye too much right here. Um, yeah, well, this one, obviously. Yeah, that's fine. These two still trade into it, and I'm gonna gain seven more and get another dude. Oh, they won't trade into it after it swings, to be fair. But I could just do this and flame shot. Why are you even thinking about this? You know you're just gonna take it. Hello. My guy. Okay. So here we go. Rage quit again. Yeah, I mean this isn't really a rage quit. This is just a let's not waste our both of our time, which which I appreciate, but that feels good. Okay, someone's trying out the new Stoneforge blade action. Keeping Figment, just because if I get a uh, staff, what is with that? Look, I kept that last time, and I got the Day of Judgment and the Second Sun's Dawn last time, just like that. And I had the Lore Keeper, didn't I? Isn't this the exact same sequence of cards I had last game? What are the odds of that? That's got to be something wrong with uh, like the system. Like I kept this, and it gave me both of those, and I'm pretty sure I played Lore Keeper... Uh, as uh, my first play before. That is insane. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to play Lord Keeper to directly contest this. I didn't want to do this. Um, I didn't want to do this and then not even have a favorable. I can do this next turn and hopefully it goes on Day of Judgment, but if not, um, hopefully then Lava Wave. That is insane. That can't be, was that, the, was that the exact cards? Like, that's so nuts if it is. Yeah, if you want to use a trap, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it means they're not really developing, you know? Well, now it's a 50-50 shot where there's a board wiper second sun's done. Nice. Only five turns away from, uh... <laughs> Getting used. Is this going to be the haster? 
Yeah. Right behind you. Follow my lead. Catch. Uh, I don't think I want to take four. So let's just take the armor off, and then Figment can trade into it. Oh, I, I would like to draw Teferi's staff at any point. I guess that's not happening. I thought the game audio stopped it like crashed or something. Ooh, that does make your spell a lot better. This is it. That's very true. What is this, man? So now signature spells the last card? This is goofy. This deck is not drawing well for me. This game. Ooh. Please play a spell. I don't know why you would. I don't know why you wouldn't just develop another creature. Yeah, that's that's a really good creature to um we both have a to play on me. Yeah, this is crappy. I'll take that. Boundless potential. Flame shot does well against their current board. I hopefully I just don't lose too much life by the time I can actually play it, but Next turn is like board wipe, then it's board wipe, board wipe, so hopefully they don't play something like super beefy here. A spell would be fantastic. I just don't know why they'd ever play a spell don't here. Mm. Yeah, that's horrifying. That's that's a nightmare. Oh no, and he's gonna make it to where they don't die. Oh, yikes. Is it other creatures or just him? To all friendly creatures. Okay. Yeah, so we just brick super hard this game, right? If I gain seven, I'm still looking at at least this amount. So that would be 11. So this is nine. Yeah, this is over. So that doesn't save me. Flame shot doesn't do anything. Uh, blocking against one with this doesn't do anything, so yeah, we just lost. That was a really bad draw. I don't think that last game was um, the deck's fault. I mean, it was like four giant spells, two negates in a row. Just weirdness, you know? Like, I don't know what anything's supposed to do when it draws like that. Let's do this. A Johnny's a little scary. Always has been. Okay, stop giving me hands like this, please. Oh my god, a Teferi Staff and a Figment? Whoa. Get out of here. For the pride. That's annoying. Time. What do you fight for? Of course. Honestly, I'd rather that than uh, Druid, though, because um, the dinosaur is really hard to answer if you don't have uh, Day of Judgment. Yeah, and our first turn is going to be very impactful. Just skip. Don't even play the dog. There we go. I mean, that's really low impact. I mean, like, um, low cost. So that seems pretty good to me. If they make something like super beefy, this card's nasty. Like giving Teferi access to this is actually kind of insane. So you can get like, um, basically, uh, you get one plus one here, one plus one there. So like that on a lore keeper isn't bad at all. Thank you. Okay, let's see. How do I want to? Deal with this obnoxious creature. Oh. Mm. Can you keep a secret? Ooh. Okay, the wax not bad. Especially after the uh, elemental mastery gets triggered. So I think I'm just gonna take three this turn and then I'm gonna glare. 
the fairy's acolyte would be really nice too. Hmm. Yeah. Ouch. You won't stand alone. Yeah, that's fine. If that's a pass, I'm super happy. There's no way that's a pass, right? Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense. Excellent. Next turn, it might, it might even just be familiar in this thing. Yeah, I think it is. Well, I don't know. Both of these trade art. I pulled it back, but whatever. Uh, I guess we're doing this now. I should probably save this for something like absolutely ginormous anyway. Yeah, buff the heck out of something pretty please. Just don't give it sneak. Don't give it sneak. Or relentless. Relentless would be worse. Excellent. Give it flying. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I like that a lot. Man, that feels strong, boy. No, what? Let me do this. Save some of the damage. Shell gain? It's kind of underwhelming. Let's do this. And pass. Maybe he'll think it's absorb. I know. At least have to attack first before he summons stuff. Of course, if you wanted to summon something with haste, you could just try it, see if it's absorbed, but then attack anyway, right? So if he attacks first, he might not lose, like, a big thing if it has haste. Life is for the living. Yeah, Excellent. put it on the wolf. Uh, so obnoxious. And then he's gonna swing out. And if he doesn't swing out, that's wonderful. I'm just gonna kill the puppy. Take one, uh, more damage and keep my figment around. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, this is kind of awkward. Let's do this. Okay, then next turn I can thwack and buy time to Day of Judgment, maybe? I think that's the play. It sucks I gotta go through all these spells, because I don't have time to signature spell. Yeah, this... Next couple turns are gonna hurt. A lot. Drawing any, like, creature just to chump with would be fantastic. Excellent. I just want any creature to chump with. Any creature to chump with. Not negate, you know? Not negate would be good. I'm holding up the negate in case he runs the... Uh, a Johnny spell that gives plus two, plus two to two things. So I know one of those cards is the... Let's gear up. Oh yeah, the item, and the other card's that. So he's gonna have two of those items. My goodness. Excellent. Maybe he'll mess up and use them both, and I can Day of Judgment. Ooh, oh yeah, and the gate would have been proper because of the Mystic right. Weapons in the first place. Durr. Okay, having a backup Day of Judgment is really strong. And that's another mystic weapon. Whew. Okay. Okay, so he has a mystic weapon and one other card. If it's another spell, that'd be great. 
Life is for the living. Okay. Excellent. Okay, are you gonna use Mystic Spell on it or are you gonna wait? Because it has ward right now. Okay. I think this is proper now. Um, yeah, I'm taking turn to stone. Boundless potential. I'm getting out of the danger zone. Okay. Now hopefully that annoys my opponent just seeing all that happen. Okay, so he's putting a four six on top. Excellent. Strike them down. Okay. You put a four six on top. I'm probably going to day a judgment, so there's no reason for me to take the four. Was really hoping that was going to be elemental mastery, because then I think I win. This is a really good card, but it does telegraph what you have to do. Oh, I thought he put the elvish whatever on top. Oh, what he must have put. What did he put on top? Oh, well, I'm not sure what was happening. Whatever, absorb stops whatever the play is. I wasn't thinking about something correctly. Um. I like getting this online. Holding up negate for some silliness. Oh, it did put it on top, and then whenever he played the, uh, whenever he played the uh, class, it put it on top because it puts it in the top three afterwards. That's what it was. Yeah, we're not taking that damage, and now we can just day a judgment and you know get a five four. Um. I'm a day of judgment because I want to hold up the negate afterwards. Wow, this Teferi deck is fun. I can't wait to play Jace. The double draw doesn't seem to really come up that much. I mean, it's nice when it does, but I think Jace is better still. Probably, just from this little bit of testing on this run. Uh. Yeah. I have seen unimaginable things. I'm holding up the negate rather than playing this, and then also if I play this, I won't get all the sphinxes. Yeah, I don't know why he's still playing, to be honest. Now we do this. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for the. All right, I think that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.